Swami, the managing director of Axo Noble, the paint company, joining in to talk about the numbers gone by. Hi, sir. Thank you very much for taking the time out. Your total income was up around 2 odd percent this quarter. Could you begin by telling us what the breakup would be in terms of your decorative as well as industrial segment in terms of va value, volume growth and impact of demonetization? Good morning. Uh, while the year started from April, we were on upward swing and uh, during the month of November, post demonetization, obviously the entire industry has got a little bit of uh, an impact and uh, that's how our uh, H1 of 2016 had a revenue growth of uh, close to 6% and 6 to 7% and uh, it kind of, uh, for this quarter alone, uh, it kind of reduced to about 2%. Both our businesses, decorative paints and industrial paints, had a negative impact more so in the decorative paints and also in the vehicle refinish sector of the industrial paints. Both of them have a uh, large component of painters, contractors and uh, retail market and hence they both, of, both the sectors had a negative impact. Overall, the other side of the industrial paint business which is protective, marine, powder coatings, specialty coatings uh, did do pretty well in the quarter. And that's how uh, in the combined portfolio we could uh, come up with a revenue growth of uh, close to 2%. Hmm. Uh, so, you're obviously directly linked to what's happening in the real estate space with your decorative paint segment. Um, specifically for that, have you seen a recovery coming into Q4 versus Q3? Uh, uh, as we know, the unsold property and uh, the entire real, real estate se sector has got uh, an impact and the decorative paints typically has got a retail segment as well as a project segment. The project segment did get impacted due to the entire demonetization and slowdown in the uh, real estate sector. Uh, but uh, for our company, we are pretty strong in the premium segment. And in the quarter gone by, uh, we did grow very well in the premium segment to the extent of uh, over 7%. And uh, largely the growth got impacted due to the drop in offtake in the project segment and the vehicle refinish segment. Uh, just to sum up, uh, the premium segment for us did grow well. The retail industry sprung back in the month of uh, December and the way we are positioned and the kind of product portfolio which we have, uh, we did see a uh, good recovery in the premium segment uh, as the year ended uh, in 2016. Right. Uh, so how how is uh, the pricing uh, scenario looking like? I mean, is there room uh, for price increases? Uh, in the last two yeah. years, with the international crude prices uh, going down, and uh, a time came uh, early last year where uh, we had to pass on benefits uh, both in the industrial side as well as the decorative side to our uh, customers and consumers. Uh, but I think as the crude is getting fixed up to uh, 54, 55 and uh, overall global uh, commodity prices in the form of TAO2 which is the principal raw material for the coating sector uh, is going up uh, across the world. And uh, I see uh, cost pressures coming back into the industry in the coming uh, six to nine months. Uh, but uh, I have to say that uh, our company has got very strong uh, uh, value creation and uh, cost-effective programs which are running uh, across the verticals of uh, Axonable. And we have to find a way to compensate for the uh, price rise. Uh, but uh, 2017, we see cost pressures coming back in this industry, unlike uh, 15 or 16. Oh. So what would that mean for your margins then? Do you have a fair idea in terms of what margins could look like in 2017? Uh, but I guess that's what I said uh, in my uh, previous uh, answer. Uh, we uh, have uh, robust uh, operation excellence and cost control programs uh, deployed in the organization. And our primary aim is to find a way to uh, nullify the uh, impact. Uh, but I guess uh, this game is uh, about increasing operational efficiency when the cost pressures come in and uh, I think uh, our teams are uh, uh, nicely poised to make much more efficiency improvement in the organization. Exactly. You had lower employee costs by around 6 odd percent. Other expenses were down around 5 odd percent. Are you starting uh, that kind of operational efficiency already? Was, uh, uh, is this kind of a cut sustainable or are we going to see more of it? Uh, uh, one of our uh, principal strategy for Axon Noble is to get organic growth and uh, operation excellence. In the last uh, 24 to 36 months, uh, 
we have re-looked at our operations, uh, identified waste, identified non-value added activities, and systematically gone about eliminating NVAs and waste in the system. And that's one of the reasons why our margins have gone up and efficiency of uh, employees have gone up, and hence the employee costs as well as the other operational costs have come down in the last 24 months. Uh, I think we will continue with the same program going forward uh, with renewed vigor because we can't uh, let go of all the gains which you have achieved. And uh, our teams, so as I said before, are uh, very nicely poised to drive this agenda even more effective in the coming year. Okay. All right, sir. We're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that's the management of Axo Noble. Well, just